if women smoked when they are pregnant, smoke cigarettes, children have almost a twofold increase in the risk for developing ADHD. So there is a pretty good link between prenatal cigarette smoke exposure and ADHD. We see how the cell's um, internal machinery responds to these things. In the course of this research, we uh, came across some other publications that said that a number of um, environmental influences, good or bad, exposure to stress or metabolic insight, uh, insults, they not only affect the generation that is exposed to these insults, but somehow they are transmitted from one generation to the next. So it's, a, it's becoming clear that what we are exposed to today will not only affect us, but it could, the effects could show up a few generations later, even though the uh, environmental factor, the teratogen, is no longer present in two generations from now. But the effects it had on to a previous generation could still manifest. A lot of the initial work is done in cells. So we expose the cells to nicotine. The excitement is this is not just a, an experiment we thought up in the lab and doesn't go anywhere, but there's real relevance to uh, public health and clinical practice. Yeah, so it's very exciting.